Welcome to this uh, intro to Maggie May. I really like this. I heard it the other day. Um, I was going to relearn Maggie May, and um, I thought, hey, I got to learn this. So anyhow, uh, there's there's really two parts to this that are both plagued twice. Um, I like to break it down in sections, so I'm going to teach you the sections as I learned them, and then how I put it together to play the song. There's a tab on the internet, and some people have played it, and I find the timing off. Um, so this is the way I believe it's played. And what we're doing is we're going to be on the second fret of the third string, and the first, I'm sorry, fifth fret of the first string. And we're going to pluck four one and uh, three and it's so fast your thumb will actually end up muting the fourth string okay you really have to practice this four one uh, three try try working that up till you get that at a real solid pace so to, again, to start, we'll do that. Then quickly, um, you're going to be plucking the first and second string at the third fret. So I use my ring finger, I'm sorry, middle finger to catch that. So here we go from the beginning. And then you just lift up and you're going to pluck the first and third string. All right. So that's what we have for the first section of the first part. So in order to speed this up, what I'm doing is as I pluck down with my thumb, I'm lifting up my uh, small finger here on my left hand and I'm going to upstroke with my ring finger and I've changed to my middle finger on the uh, third fret. So it'll, it's very fast. So you can see how quick that goes and, and in the song he plays it very fast. The tab that I found had you playing from the fifth and then to the first fret. And and it's just very it's very difficult to move to that position as quickly as it sounds to me. Okay, that's kind of the first half. That's what I would practice first. Learn this and then move on to the second half of the first section. The second string first fret and third string second fret. And we're going to pluck those together, the second and third string. Then we're going to lift off and hit the third string by itself. So I use my thumb for that. Then we're going to pluck those two strings again, but this time we've moved our ring finger to the third fret and we're leaving the second, I'm sorry, third string open. So again, then I just lay it down and catch that third fret of the first string. So all together I have this. And then we're going to pluck the first and third string with our um, fretting the third string at the second fret. And that again that's pretty quick. So practice that section and then put them together. And then you'll catch the feel of the song. So um, we're down to the third part, okay? Um, let's take the first two parts and put them together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for what I consider the third section, we're going to come back and pluck the third and first uh, string, but we're fretting the second fret on the third string and the fifth fret on the uh, first string. So we're going to pluck those two together. Then I just hit the open third and I'm going to go to the third fret and pull off to two and then open. Then strike the third fret of the second string and pluck that open third again. And then move my first finger to the second fret of the third string and pluck the third string and first string open. So all together the third section of the first half goes like this. Now the reason I kind of use I like to keep that first finger here because what I end up doing is plucking the um, fourth 
and third string, the third will be fretted at that um, second fret. And then we're going to move to basically uh, a C. So that's a D, referencing a D. Then a C. So we're going to move to the fifth string at the third fret and the fourth string at the fifth fret. Pluck those two, five and four. And then do open five and fourth string fretted at the second fret to reference an A. So that's the uh, fourth section, if you will. So here's the third and fourth section together. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if you break them down by sections, learn them, put them together, it will come together. So you take those first four sections and repeat them. That's the very first part of Henry. Okay, the next part will go like this. to break it down is take this we're going to strum an E minor then we're going to come to the seventh fret just strike that first string and then we're going to pluck the fourth open and the first string at five so we have this so far now this gets a little tricky we're going to put our first finger on the fourth string and pull off from three two to open so we're going to pluck the fourth and first but we're pulling off Okay, and then catch the second uh, fret of the fifth string. So we're just moving up there. So. Okay, then we then what we're going to do is pluck the first and sixth string open together. We're going to move to the third fret of the sixth string, but we're going to pluck the second string together. Then we're going to move to the second string, second fret pluck that with the um, fifth string open. So what we have so far is this. And then we're going to pluck the second fret of the fifth string, fourth fret of the second string. Pluck them two together. And then strum partial E minor, maybe to about the fourth string. So uh, from the open pluck strings, Did what I consider the first part of this. I just practice this. And then just kept working. And then just keep working up to it. And then the next half goes like this. So that's the second half. And then when you put these both together, you'll have this. So you want to end that intro on a full E. And that's all of it. So um, I hope this helps everyone. Um, I think I'll add to this my Maggie May. I, I kind of learned an easier way to play it for me, so I'll share that with everybody. Okay, here's my uh, crappy written notes, but they work for me, so um, we'll go over this. So if you want to pause and write this down, um, then I'll explain how I'm playing these exact chords that I wrote down. Again, these are my notes, so you can see how I work through these things. So my intro, I'm going from a D to an E minor 7, so I'm leaving my ring finger there. And again, in the lesson, I showed you this way, but because there's just a solo guitar, um, I want to make it a little more interesting, so I want that E to ring. That'll, it sounds different than going here. minor 7th with the open E, and then G where I cover that first string, okay, and then I'm going to move that pinky up and play like a D form, but with my pinky at the 5th fret, and back to the 2nd fret, and then start over. So all together we'll have this.
and that repeat the second half where you repeat this intro where it goes da da um, and then kicks into the verse. What I found easier to do is just do a D sus4 to a, a G that's got open uh, second and uh, first strings and we're we're covering the third string at the fourth fret and the fifth and fourth at the uh, fifth and just played the five through one. Um, it sounded better than going to this G to me. Um, so I had this. And then you're into the verse. So let me take you through the intro. Um, and it should sound like this. So the verse is A, G, D. And then you add some sus. So we're going to go down to four and then two. And then you repeat that. Okay, and then you go G, D, and then G, A. Okay, and then you're into an E minor, F sharp minor, E minor. Now I think in my lesson I go to a B sus2 there um, after that uh, second E minor, but it's easier I found with a single guitar. Just put your pinky down and play an E minor seventh. So this is the part where he goes, I laughed at all of your jokes. Seventh, rather than going to a B sus two, it's just easier for a single guitar because you're keeping that that E bass going. Um, so then we have E minor to A twice, actually three times, and then we end on D. So again, that's the verse, and I wanted to make this easy to remember and play, and I think the lesson and trying to play exactly what's on the record is, is it's just kind of difficult. So um, unless you're in a full band and can break the parts down. So uh, there is a break uh, that they do when there's a uh, guitar um, solo. So that is E minor 7th. <laughs> Sus2, then G, and D. Now that will go once through when they do the um, solo the first time. They just play that once through and then you're back into the verse. Uh, the second time they play this break, uh, they do it twice. And then they go into the intro and go out. So, you know, again, this is an easy way um, to play it without getting into too much detail of the uh, recording. So I hope that helps everyone.